welcome. The ride is beginning now. How many people will be playing? Three is the magic number. Yes, it is. Is this the first time on the ride for any of you? Well, good. I hope you really enjoy the ride. To make your trip more pleasant, our host will give you extra instructions when you need them most. Have fun. Player one, may I have... Okay, that's fine. Player two, may I have your... Wonderful, thanks. Now, please show us how you spell your name. Why? Because we like you. Player one, see your buzzer? It's the letter Q, as in quadrophenia. Player two, you'll be buzzing in on the letter B, as in Bowery Boys. And player three, you will touch the letter P to buzz in. That's P, as in pseudo. I think you're really gonna love this episode. It's sort of like Pretty Woman meets Soylent Green. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is sponsored by Celebrity Tax Write-Off Tinseltown Grill. It's like fried green tomatoes meets the Spice Girls. And now, here's your host, Guy Towers! Hey, welcome to the show! Uh, glad you could fit me in in between trips to your precious video store. Alrighty, first off, we gotta give you your screws. Alright, you is gonna get some screws, and here you go. Alright, now pay attention and I'll tell you about a new and improved way to screw your neighbor. When you see a question you don't want to answer, buzz in immediately and start hitting the S key. That's S for screw. Now every time you do, you're going to be firing screws into the screen, totally annihilating the question. When you're done blasting, then you force your friend to answer it. That's called screwing flakjack style. So uh, if you're not the one dishing out the screws, you better be reading as fast as you can. Alright, I hope you got all that. Well, we're here. Hooray for Hollywood. Let's do it. Let's go, player two. Buzz in and let's see how much cash we're playing for. Ugly! Wow. Well, this one's gonna be called... Take me to your Hollywood theme restaurant. Coming at you. If Planet Hollywood took over the Earth, who would not be one of our new rulers? Steven Seagal, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Slayer oh. One. Steven Seagal is not one of the celebrity owners of Planet Hollywood. But if we're ever taken over by Planet Ponytail, you know who we'll be answering to. Okay, Player One, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. The category is... How to get thin in Hollywood. All right, $33.91 in your pocket if you can tell me this. Considering the movie's premise, how would you abuse your body with a crash diet? Three, three, go! Crash is that creepy movie about folks that are turned on by car accidents. And I'm guessing that eating something in the car is what probably causes those accidents in the first place. Buzz in player three and let's get ready for... Thou shalt like me. Thou shalt really like me. Question, please. Which of the following Academy Awards moments could least likely be interpreted as breaking one of the Ten Commandments? Yelling, I'M THE DAMN KING OF THE WORLD! Player 3, do it! You know, there's nothing in the Ten Commandments that forbids being naked. But you know, after Billy Crystal exposed his bosom during the Titanic skit, I believe there should be. Player 3, hit your buzzer and lock in the cash for this one. Ooh, pretty lame pick in there. Oh well, it's gonna be called... Zip codes are out. Velcro codes are in. Look out, here it comes. If Beverly Hills 90210 had been... All your player... Alright, player two, you're getting screwed. Went for the second choice, huh? Well, let's check it out. Uh, does someone need a timeout? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Player one. Wow, here's an envelope full of cash. And wait a minute, it's addressed to you with a return to sender stamp on it. Huh. 
Well, if it ain't those three, then what is it? Because it's the zip code for Beverly Hills, it couldn't very well be one of the ones for Hollywood, now could it? See, we don't ask you to know the zip codes of every town in America to play this game. We just ask you to pay attention. Smack your buzzer, player two, and let's find out the cash value of this bet. You're six degrees from knowing him, and Bacon is his name, oh, B-A-C-O-N, 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 and Kevin's his first name, oh. Welcome to Bacon. All right, here's a quick explanation of how this thing works. You're gonna get a series of puzzles. When you figure out each answer, wait for the first letter of that answer to get highlighted. Then, buzz in. If you're right, I'll give you 500 bucks, and you collect that letter. But I'm taking away 500 every time you're wrong. Be the first one to collect all the letters, and you get the bonus. Got it? Well, I hope so, because here we go. This William is in Flatliners. Slater. Christian Slater. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Has hosted Saturday Blank Live. This Jamie Lee is in Halloween. Ooh. Reynolds and Bergen start and starting. Mason and McNichol star on Neil Simons. This lane is an he said, she said. She's having a... Baby! As of 1998, has not won in... Oscar! Picture perfect, Jennifer. Kevin's a lawyer in JFK. JFK. Okay. The blank up there. Swish. Where to get that last letter and the bonus cash is yours. This Jack is in a few good men. No Jack. Bonus player two. Hey, looks like player two's the one to catch here. Uh, let's do it. Player one, hit that buzz. There you go, nice. Okay, here's your category. Cecil sells seashells to CC. Hey, player one, now is the time to dig yourself out of that hole, you know what I mean? Okay. What would you expect to see if you bought tickets to a collaboration between Cecil B. DeMille? Player one! Cecil B. DeMille is an old-time movie director, and C.C. DeVille? Well, duh, everybody knows he was in the band Poison. You know, the only thing is, with black and white film, you tend to lose some of the effects of the eye shadow on the boys. All right, buzz in, player one, and let's see how much cash is up for grabs. For your viewing pleasure, Lady Godiva, the original Rawhide. Here comes the questione. Given what player two. Ha ha ha. Well, Speedy, if you wait next time, you'll actually get to choose from the real answer. You go, player three. Lady G went buff in the saddle to get her hubby to lower taxes. Fortunately, Steve Forbes' advisors talked him out of recreating this stunt when he ran for president in 96. Ugh, thank the Lord. Okay, player three, buzz in and set the cash value. Hey, looks good to me. And this one's called... Get that thing out of my face. 
Hey, I'm sure we're all familiar with those sneaky photographers known as the paparazzi, right? Right. Well... If instead of attacking photographers, irritable actors took their aggressions out on the origin of the term paparazzi, what outrageous behavior... Take it, player two! The term paparazzi comes from a character in the Fellini film La Dolce Vita named Paparazzo. He's a professional photographer. I curse the film because I hate reading subtitles. Player two, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. Time for a little roadkill. All right, let me tell you how this game works here. You're going to get different pairs of things that are somehow related, and you're going to see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. It's your buzzer when you see the item that correctly links the two. I'm giving out a thousand bucks if you get it right, but choose wisely. You lose a thousand dollars every time you're wrong. At the end, there's going to be a bonus question worth bonus cash. Let's just say you should pay close attention to all the correct answers. Got it? Good. We're off. Super blank Sunday and a deep dish. Where do these two intersect? Blank off the buffalo and some mix up cards. Sunset blank and blank of broken dreams. Score. Equilateral geometrical shapes. And fruit. Score. Poor mistress. And blank, I've had him. Bo Derek is a blank. And one plus two plus three plus four equals... They're alive with the sound of music and Beverly Blank Cobb. Score! Now let's go for the bonus. What do all the correct dancers have in common? Are they all dancers? Let's look at the current standings. Hey, player two's in the lead, okay. Okay, player two, hit your buzzer and show us. And your category is... Relax, don't do it, and fasten your seatbelt. Here's the question. If 80s dance band Frankie Goes to Hollywood actually leaves their hometown of Liverpool and goes to Hollywood, how far back will they have to set their watches? Three hours, eight hours, 12 hours, or they won't have to. Player three, do it! All right, who are you screwing, player? You gotta answer it, player two. Okay, went for the first one. How'd you do? Smell you later. All right, did it, player one. Well, you're right, they wouldn't have to. You know, deciding not to reset their watches would not harm them in any way. But hey, these questions aren't any fun unless you work with me, people. Come on. <laughs> player, two, player three, go. Hollywood, California is eight hours behind Liverpool, England. Of course, they're going to have to set their watches back about, oh, 15 years if they want anyone in L.A. to actually care that they've arrived. All right, player three, buzz in, and let's see the cash value for this one. This one will be life before Spago. And away we go. If there were a star-studded costume party at which celebs wore outfits commemorating Hollywood's original industry, what would TV audiences see? Susan Sarandon in Christmas decorations, Tom Hanks in... Player two, grab it! Before the movie industry took over, Hollywood was known for growing figs. And nowadays, many of the Hollywood elite wear large, perfectly shaped silicone-injected fig leaves. 
Player two, hit that buzzer and let's see what you're going to be going for on this. And the category is Ancient Chinese Death Trap. Hey, you know that famous movie theater in Hollywood? You know, Man's Chinese Theater? Well, suppose visitors to Man's Chinese Theater encounter the Take a place. Player two, who's gonna get it? Stuff it back in their face. Answer four, okay, how'd you do? The narrator of Death in Venice, along with a whole bunch of Venetians, dies of cholera. Well, there you go, man's Chinese theater. Come on, honey, let's go see the Hollywood sign. I don't feel so good. Oh, nice work, player two. You just screwed yourself. <laughs> it's your buzzer, player three, and let's see how much moolah is in the kitty. <laughs> Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm going to be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. And each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. It's got to be a match that fits this clue. Out west, they call me. There's your clue. Now don't screw it up. Adios. Wow, three big losers. Well, let's use the ruler of all losers. Hey folks, Crazy Ernie here, inviting you to come on down to Crazy Ernie's Discount Carpet and Mutual Fund Emporium. It's my third anniversary blowout. That's right, I've got insane deals on wall-to-wall, -wall, large cap, small cap, shag, bond, stain master, and concentrated healthcare. I must be out of my mind. I got active managed, I got no load. I got free installation. What must I be thinking? You want diversified international? I got them babies too. I'm mentally unstable. How about an IRA? I got regular, I got raw. I got direct from factory outlet in every color. Crazy Ernie's Discount Carpet and Mutual Fund Emporium. I'm a threat to society as we know it. Time now 
now for a page from the success journey with motivational speaker and full-time dreamer, Dr. Harvey Bass. Let me tell you the story of a small farm boy from Alaska. He grew up in poverty, often cold, often hungry, many times forced to eat his own hair for sustenance. His father, a proud man, eked out a living raising caribou and selling their hooves to be made into pencil erasers. The father expected his son to take over the family business. Well, this bright, ambitious boy had a different idea. He had what I like to call a dream. The boy, at the tender age of 12, rented a car and drove from Alaska to a small island off the coast of Florida. There, he fulfilled his dream of growing a beard, smoking big cigars, and talking in a funny accent. Yes, that man is better known to you and me as billionaire entrepreneur and respected world leader, Wilford Brimley. This has been a page from the success journey with Dr. Harvey Bass. One is for the heartache. If you've ever been in love. Two is for the tears. Or just had to do your taxes. I'm itemizing the deductions you've taken through the years. This album is for you. I've got more than $400 of interest in you. Then I showed her my long form check here. As sweet as your first kiss. If you would like a dollar of your love. And as painful as your first audit. To go to my.